own songs holds a special place in your heart? Um, it's a good question. I mean, probably out of the ones on this album, love the song "Love Is Gone" means a lot to me, just because uh, it was a record. It was a song that almost didn't make the album, oh, okay. and uh, it was one that I kind of held back because I didn't think it was good enough. <clears throat> but but like secretly, it was my favorite one. I just didn't think it would really be appreciated by anybody else, mm -hmm. and it turned out to be. I think probably one of my favorite of my own performances on the record, okay. as far as vocal. So. That's good. Yeah, I've heard them described as children, and it's so hard to pick one that's just a favorite. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, because they're all so personal, you know. Mm -hmm. And they're all, to me, they're all appropriate for a certain time, a certain place. So where do you see yourselves in the next five years? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I, I live on a very kind of short horizon. Mm -hmm. you know? I mean, like, I. It would be, I would be lying if I say I don't have big plans kind of thing. Um, how I live day to day is really just kind of, okay, what's next? What's next? In some ways, I kind of have trouble maybe enjoying the moment sometimes, because even when good stuff happens, I'm like, okay, what's next? Um, but hopefully, you know, we can continue to do what we're doing now, just on a much bigger level, I hope. You know, hopefully in five years, more people know about us then than they do now. And uh, hopefully that gives us more... Um, leeway to to do bigger shows because you know, I being a big Rammstein fan you know how, how big their production is mm -hmm. and, you know I don't want to have like fire and explosions and stuff oh, like that no. but but, uh, <laughs> but but there's certain things that I would really like yeah. to do to make the music and the songs come alive live and right now you know we're, we're always just the opening band or we're playing really small venues and there's not really much you can do so did you guys look at any festivals this summer I know we're doing festivals in the UK okay. and in Germany I don't know about what's going on here just yet. We just got home like a couple days ago, so oh. everything's kind of new, and, and we're hearing all things for the first time about plans, and okay. things that are tentative that might might or may not happen. So, so if you could create your dream rock festival with you guys on the bill, who else would share the stage? It'd probably just be all my favorite bands. You know, just because I like listening to them all. If I could just get, if I could just finish our set. Be like, okay, I don't have to play anymore now. I get to watch Depeche Mode and Lunchtime and, and uh, you know, Danzig and Typo and all, all my favorite bands. I mean, that, that's what it would be. We could bring Huey Lewis over for Yeah, you could bring Huey Lewis. <laughs> he could sing uh, Heart of Rock and Roll. So what is the best way for fans to stay up to date with you guys? Are you on Twitter, Facebook? We're on Twitter, we're on Facebook. It's actually cool because our, our website, Dumbin.com, is actually... Uh, it's got the Twitter feed and the Facebook feed in there, so it's just, to me, that's probably the best way. And it's getting to be so crazy on, like, MySpace and Facebook that um, if people want me to respond to emails, I still try to do it through MySpace mm -hmm. and Facebook. It's just getting a little overwhelming. But, so I do a lot of it through our website. If somebody sends me a message there, I'll answer that one first. Okay. So. That's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, where do you see the future of music coming? Like, do you think we're kind of stuck in a singles market? Do you think, you know... Um, that's a good question. I mean, it's, it's hard to tell. It seems to me that... Uh, I don't necessarily... It's gonna, I don't know if it's going to necessarily just be a singles market, but I think... I think what a really clever idea... I forgot who did it. Was that people are already doing it, where they just release groups of songs, like mm -hmm. maybe three or four, you know, instead of having... You know, putting out a whole album, just put together a collection, like a package that's a good of three I don't know. It's hard to tell. You know, it's always changing, and you know, I think there's something good about having just singles, but there's also something great about being able to tell an entire story. You know, I think uh, we just have to wait and see, I guess. Yeah, a lot of people are missing that whole story behind an album thing, and you yeah. know, it used to be such an ordeal to pick up a CD and look at the liner notes and look at I the still artwork. Love doing that. I know, yeah. me too. And it's like you know. <laughs> I think we're getting away from that, and it kind of sucks. But. Yeah, but I think in a lot of ways it's separating people who like really value music and people who it's just another commodity that they can throw away after they're tied up the song. Yeah. Would you ever want to see your stuff in Guitar Hero or Rock Band? Sure. I mean, you know, I think that'd be cool if people can mm -hmm. play. You know, I, I don't play that whole whole bunch, but I know some of the guys in the band mm -hmm. love those games. So, sure, that'd be cool. You know. I think, you know, it'd be hard to find certain, certain, not all songs would work, 
too well on it, but I think if we, have, we have a song called One Feeling, I think if uh, that would be like the perfect song for guitar here. It's very riffy. And yeah. Kind of, so I think that'd be cool. And it's definitely a, a good way to kind of expose your music to a whole another group of people who definitely. might not otherwise even know you exist. So. Yeah, so many people, like, you know, all the classic rock songs and everything around there, you've got, like, little five- and six-year-olds running around <laughs> singing the words to, yeah, like, dead so. congregates and stuff, so... Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's... It, people are always trying to figure out new ways to get your music heard. You know, get yourself out there. It's such a saturated market now. So many people are doing it. It's kind of hard to stick your head above the crowd, so... Yeah. You can get it noticed in any way possible, why not? So, what's been one of your craziest fan experiences? Craziest fan experiences? Um, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, I don't I don't really let a lot phase me at all, so it's just... <laughs> I mean, I guess just signing weird body parts would be the weirdest thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, usually I get, I can't talk about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if necessarily the crazy fan experiences are necessarily happening to me so much as they are the other guys in the band. Okay. Yeah, they'd probably be better at telling you this stuff. <laughs> they probably wouldn't want me to say anything, so okay. I'll just leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> so how do you guys pass mm -hmm. the time on the road? Um, for me, if I have connections to like the internet, I think most of us are kind of internet junkies. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing about Europe is it was really hard to find free internet. Yeah. We get here and... It's free everywhere almost. So yeah. um, I use it because I stay really active with the band. So for our what our sites, our Twitters, our Facebooks, our MySpace, it's nice because I'm very active in it. If somebody if somebody sends us an email, there's a good chance they're going to get a response because I like to stay really in touch with people who are really making it possible for us to do what we're doing. Um, so we're on the internet a lot, all of us, for different reasons, different things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, pretty much between being an internet junkie or trying to find a, a gym to work out at and just, you know, watching movies in the van and doing stuff like that. Cool. So, um, what are you hoping that listeners or audiences take away from your performance or your music? I hope that they... I mean, it's it's been happening, so it's, I, I guess you could say the dreams come true in that sense, but... Uh, I just hope that when they're in the audience that I'm doing a good job at making them feel what I feel. Because to me that's the goal. If I can if I can sing in a way and I can express if I can tap into exactly what I'm feeling and I can make them feel that and give them that chill down their spine or make their skin have goosebumps on it or their hair stand up or I hope they walk away feeling something. I hope that at some, at, at some level they're moved, whether it's excitement or whether it's, you know, something that hits you here or whatever it is. I hope that that's the reaction. I hope they leave really feeling like they saw something special. That's cool. So what is one question that you haven't been asked yet that you, you know, kind of <laughs> wish someone would ask? I don't know. I've been asked so many questions all the time. It's I can imagine. It's kind of hard. I can't really say that there there is one. You know, I, I guess it, I guess it would just be like about song specifics, but none. I mean, nothing comes to mind right now. But uh, I don't really get asked specifics about songs too much outside okay. of like actual fans that are emailing me. Uh, yeah, like what does this lyric represent that mean? to you? Okay. Did you mean this? That's good. It's good. I'm glad to hear it's coming through from the fans, though, because that yeah. means that they are paying attention. And you know, I'm I mean, sure that fans are very, I think, uh, in tune with a lot of stuff, and they realize that uh, nothing that that we do, for the most part, I, mean, I could probably think of an exception, but for the most part, whether it's videos or especially music or lyrics. Everything has a significance, you know, nothing is taken lightly, mm -hmm. so everything means something. There's always some, uh, there's always the obvious, and then there's the latent, okay. meaning, meaning. And so uh, and most of them seem to be really in tune with that, and they get it, which is really cool. That's awesome. Well, you know, is there any final message or comment you'd like to share with our site readers? Just, uh, I encourage people to come to the show.